Holy shit. Today was insane, guys. That's all I can say. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video, where today we discuss the second dev diary from Jurassic World Evolution 2, which, oh my god, it was full of things to sh show. Some that shocked me, some that were awesome, some that were interesting, and we're gonna talk about them all. So, today's, um, Dev Diary, they discussed mainly, um, how campaign mode will work, as well as a bit of chaos theory, which we'll discuss the campaign first, as most people know it. So, they discuss how, for campaign, you'll be not making another park like you will be in, like, other modes. Your main focus will be rescuing and containing dinosaurs that are escaped in the wild as this takes place after the events of Fallen Kingdom where the dinosaurs were free and your goal is to get them all healthy and safe. So far that's like all we know. We don't know like what's the big goal here besides that. They don't really mention it too much and like it's very s simple, very cool and we get some looks at how certain things work including the um veterinary unit we get to see it on an allosaurus how it's being transported to the facility and then like is being medicated and also we get to see like how you'll be working with all the main characters like like claire and owen and then their own characters cabot finch kajal and stuff and working with the fish wildlife preserve and it, it's really, really good, guys. Like, I really like how they're going for a different approach for this now. One thing that's very interesting about the campaign so far is they're not saying that it's going to eventually lead into a park build, which I'm really hoping it doesn't, because if it does, then it's going to be the same thing. Like, the thing that's really exciting about this is it's leading to not being another park build. Sure, you'll get that in challenge mode and sandbox and maybe even chaos theory but you won't be getting it in the campaign which will make the campaign that much more of a re having a replayability value now for chaos theory this is where they really get interesting so they describe it as you going to specific points in the franchise's history including the lost world and creating the San Diego Park, or ju recreating Jurassic World, which we've all done that one before, haven't we? Yes, we have. And it describes it as sort of like you go and do the, p you build these versions of the parks. Like they only describe like how it works for the Lost World and also for Jurassic World. But one thing that's interesting is they don't describe anything else, which is leading me to wonder, will it just be like only the parts that are related to park build? So Jurassic Park, San Di the San Diego portion, and Jurassic World. Will there be no points that, that you can change in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom or any of those? I'm not sure on that. Like, it is suggesting that. It's basically suggesting, oh, you'll be able to do park builds for these moments in the history, but nothing else. That's what it's sort of leading to, which is a little unfortunate, but it still is going to be awesome because we get to have iconic buildings from the movies, including the San Diego building, the visitor center from the first um, movie, which we got in Jurassic World Evolution 1, but we get to see it come back as well, which looks really good. They get to des describe um, how the storms will be working and stuff, and like how they could affect your, your parks and all that. And we get, other than that, like, for explaining what's gonna happen for the game, they don't explain too much else, but we get to see a whole lot of things, including some new dinosaurs, including the one and only Indominus Rex. At the, near the very end, we get a shot of the Indominus Rex revealed, which is amazing. It looks so detailed, and also in this, they actually show um, it in the beta form, so we're no longer in alpha, we're now in the um, beta form, which, oh my god, it looks so detailed, including um, this Indominus Rex model. Even though um, the 
gums and stuff are a little bit too pale, like maybe a little bit, but damn, it looks stunning actually. And the rock in the background, oh my god. And looks like we are on like Isla Nublar for this shot, which looks really, really good. Really, really nice. And then we get some shots of the Jurassic World San Diego, which um, do show the um, Ford Explorers returning, guys. Well, actually, not really the Ford Explorers. The um, though the same model it seems from the first the first game it seems because they don't have the license probably. And we get to see some Pachycephalosaurus in the background, which I don't think I'd feel safe in that car when the Pachy is taller than the car. And we get some nice, lovely shots of um, the San Diego facility, which, oh my god, the detail on this, it's amazing. Oh yeah, so one more thing about campaign, they say that we're recruited by, like, the government and stuff, which, in the Gang Beavers playthrough, I noticed how Kajal had said that she works for the government as, like, an agent or something, which, gotta say, that's a little bit sneaky there, no wonder Wu didn't trust her. God, oh, damn, everybody's spying on everybody, which, also, one more confirmed species that we have is the Tylosaurus for aquatic reptiles. We get a shot of two of them from the viewing vent for the um, aquatic arena, which looks amazing. Like, wow, um, that's just so cool. And more shots of um, the T-Rex and San Diego. And also this ad one shot that's really stuck with me is it shows two Carnotaurus and they start fighting each other. However, the animation they use is actually the same one that was done between, what was it, Changesaurus and Allosaurus in the, um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, in the, um, previous trailer that we got. But, it's a, it's cool, don't get me wrong, but I'm wondering if they're gonna be reusing, um, animations for all the dinosaurs, but then, like, there's so many that, like, you don't know which one it'll be at certain times. Maybe that's what they're thinking about. And, well, we also, speaking of Allosaurus, we also get this lovely shot of it lying down and scratching its little cheek, which is a nice little detail there, guys. Very nice and cute. Makes the Allosaurus feel much more alive, which was the goal of the game in the first place. And, yeah, like, aw, look at him, so cute. And, like, yeah, this thing is packed with stuff guys like i'm i'm missing a lot of it but this was so good like how we get to see finally we got a reveal of what ch campaign mode and both chaos theory mode will be which i will say i'm kind of a little bit worried about um chaos theory mode now because like you you hear that and like you expect it to be like crazy like not like a park building and stuff but from what they've said, they've shown Jurassic World, like, you get to recreate it, and also, you get to make San Diego Jurassic Park legit and a successful park, which, from that, it's sort of suggesting that it means that we will be only making parks in the Chaos Theory mode, so we won't be able to change certain things like, oh, what if the Indominus Rex won the fight between it and Rexy and the Velociraptor, like, Things like that I was hoping we would get, but it looks like it's just going to be the park building stuff from the franchise, which is a little bit unfortunate. I, I still will have loads of fun, because, like, we get to have all these amazing buildings, but I I will understand if some people are a little disappointed with um it being a, not as what they expected. But there you go, guys. So that is the official... Dev Diary number two, guys, and we are just under two months. Biggest things, we get to see how Chaos Theory works. Also, we get Indominus Rex revealed, which we haven't gotten Indoraptor yet, but we, we know he's coming back. There's no way they're having just Indominus Rex. There's no way. But what other hybrids could we get? Could we get other ones besides those two? I don't know. We also get Tylosaurus revealed, and also we get to see more unique animations for the dinosaurs, how storms work, and yeah, it, it was amazing. 
But guys, that's going to wrap up this video. If you've enjoyed it, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt. Be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.